I heard the term unhoused for the first time the other day and thought, yeah, I can relate to that. So I was like, I got a YouTube channel. I can make a video about being unhoused and unhinged in Denver, Colorado. And I've been sleeping on this foam mat for a year now. This thin one. I tore out my front seat and built this platform so I could sleep on it. I just got this cheap Walmart blanket and these cheap Walmart pillows and a backpack. We gotta make it back to Pennsylvania by at least, at least no later than August 30th. My driver's license expires and my car inspection expires. So we got ourselves about two weeks of being unhoused in Denver to get ourselves prepared so that we can drive back east home to Lancaster, 24 hour drive, nearly 1700 miles. But I'm a busy dude. I'm what people would describe as a self-starter. And it's Sunday, so we got a lot of chores to do. We gotta go to the gym and take care of our hygiene. Then right around the corner from the gym is the laundromat, so we gotta do that. Uh, we gotta go to the library today so we can start editing a video. We need to upload some new sound effects, so we'll do that also at the library. Uh, check our email while we're there. And we need to change our spark plugs. We got four spark plugs and a wire set that we need to change. Uh, so we'll probably go pick those up tonight and then change our, our do that repair in our car first thing in the morning. So we got a busy day. Just like most nomads, I shower in a gym. I got a black membership, 25 bucks a month. I'm going to go shower in this Planet Fitness gym right now. a lot of tree huggers here in Denver so honestly it's not the best shower it's got like low pressure really low pressure and the temperature doesn't get very hot so it's cold and low pressure um, but that's kind of the gig here in Denver but it sucks because sometimes I don't shower for a couple days when I'm up in the mountains and I come out all dirty it's hard to get clean in those showers but whatever we got that chore done next thing we gotta do is go do some laundry laundromat's literally right around that corner right there I just gotta I guess I'll drive over. I'm gonna wash my sneakers. I think I can wash my sneakers in a washing machine. It's Sunday, so I like to get these chores done on Sundays, but so does everybody else. I anticipate it's gonna be pretty busy in here. My laundry is super duper easy. I'm a minimalist. I only got about three or four different outfits total. So it's one little load. Running my sneakers through the cold cycle on the washer worked really well. Got a lot of the stains off. All right, we got that chore all done. Just being able to get in and out of, look. <laughs> not even a, a whole load of laundry. You know, I can wash everything and it's not even a whole load. all my clothes giant backpack there wish I had a better spot for that but I don't there's my computer bag and my gym bag and bear spray down there in the cut look at all that crumbs Ew, it's very dirty down in there car life reality all right I guess with that chair out of the way uh, we'll go head over to the library Got some video editing to do and need to charge up my stuff so we'll go show you what the library looks like here in denver the weather is really nice today sunny 77 puffy clouds it's a beautiful day in denver wrapped up in the library we got a good amount of work done in there let's go get something to eat that place was a madhouse in there i came in right behind a large church group of like 40 people that ordered right ahead of me 
but we got fed. Uh, before we go pick up our auto parts so we can change out our spark plugs, let's swing by the spot where I'm going to sleep tonight. I'll show you guys that. I don't want to show you when it's nighttime and I'm actually going over there to sleep, but while it's daytime and uh, we'll go over and check it out real quick. This is the road I'll be sleeping on tonight. We got residential on the right side and commercial strip mall type stuff on the left side. You can see there's cars parked everywhere. Right there behind those pine trees got commercial on this side residential on that side there's a mall up there you see the jc penny sign there's a lane all right let's go get those auto parts i've been driving around for like two months with only three of my four cylinders working one spark plug isn't working i couldn't afford it to change it all at once I was able to replace my ignition coil switch already I could afford that but that was not the problem um, so now I finally got enough money I'm gonna go pick up we're gonna go pick up four spark plugs and spark plug wire set We got everything we need. It's gonna be about $120 for four spark plugs in the wire set. Seems a little high, but it's necessary. Like I said, we've been driving on uh, three pistons now for like two months. Only three or four firing. <laughs> Ta-da! They're gonna let me use the deep socket that I need to to put the spark plugs in in the morning. So I'm just gonna come back tomorrow. That way I don't have to buy the uh, specific socket. And we'll do that first thing in the morning before it heats up. <laughs> All right, it's the next day. We're back here at Advanced Auto Parts, but you can see there's a Taco Bell right there. So we're gonna run over there and get lunch. Cause the first step of this process is to let the engine cool before I can even change my spark plug. So yeah, let's run over to Taco Bell quick and get lunch and then come back and do it. I've never changed spark plugs before, but I believe in myself, and that should be enough. Alright, I'm tacoed up. Let's go over here and see if we can borrow this ratchet. It's a deep socket. I got the ratchet. I need to borrow a deep socket. Alright, we got the socket. He was a little skeptical. It wasn't the same guy working as yesterday when I went in there and bought the spark plugs. He was like, who? What? Huh? I was like, yo, come on, man, I need it. Man, this sucks. There's a tweaker right here charging a cell phone on the side of the building. I want to do my spark plugs, but then I just got to watch all my tools and everything constantly. Look, he's smoking meth right there. It's insanity, dude. Dude's just smoking meth there right on the side of the building. I guess I need to focus on what I'm doing. Right, here's my parts. Here's my socket. Hold on, where'd I put my tools? I got tools too, baby. We got this, this. Uh, let's get this hood opened up here. Oh, it's still hot in there. I wonder if I should wait for it to cool down. So first thing we gotta do is take this. There's four bolts right here to get this cover off. Well, of course the socket that he gave me was not the right size. Um, for a standard. <laughs> this is just, of course it's not the right size for a standard spark plug. I didn't know, I said, hey, can I borrow a socket that fits my, fits a spark plug, you know? He's working in the damn parts store. Same thing, I got everything pulled all apart here and I don't got the right size socket, so I gotta go take this socket back in. 
and I'm probably just gonna have to buy five eight socket. Yeah, I don't think they're smart enough to know what's going on in there. But the problem is now is I got two fucking tweakers right over here, and my car's all torn apart. All right, we just had to buy it. I've never been able to just. I've never been able to just do a job and not need some kind of tool. It doesn't matter, even if they're like every single time. It never just goes really easy as planned. This is supposed to be a really easy job. I got stuff everywhere. I kind of just do everything back in the car real quick so the tweakers wouldn't get it. Pull all this stuff back out. Second one. I'm so excited. Office fixes my car. I can't believe I've been driving on three cylinders. There it is. Another bad one. All right, we got three of them done right here. One, two, three. Just that last one back to do there. One, two, three replaced. One more to do here. It's only about eight minutes so far. So once I got the proper tools, the job only took about 15 minutes. It's not a hard job at all. If you've never changed your own spark plugs, I believe in you. I believe in you. Don't pay somebody to change your spark plugs. You can do it yourself. Look at the difference here between an old spark plug and a new spark plug. The new ones in my hand you can see the color difference before we test it out let's check the oil levels are good windshield washer fluid yep still got some power steering fluid Yep, here's the be in between the min and max. Some of this excess oil off. While it's open. How about this one? What's this? Brake fluid. Yep. Yep. All our fluids look okay. Our battery connections are fine. New spark plugs. Check. Fire up. We did it. No more skipping engine, no more misfiring. Firing on all cylinders, we did it. <laughs> yeah, feels good to be able to do maintenance yourself on your own car, man. That feels really good. Yes. Yeah, all right. All right, we got this project done. We just got to get this stuff cleaned up. Then we can get out of here. On to the next thing. That's a wrap for today's video. If you like being outside as much as I do, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. And the best way to support my channel is to subscribe. Don't cost you shit and it makes me smile. Till next video, smile your way through the day. Thank you.